हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज बाय शेट विद्या मंदिर इंग्लिश हाई स्कूल एंड जूनियर कॉलेज ऑफ साइंस एंड कॉमर्स माय सेल्फ जयेश राजगोर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड इकोनॉमिक्स न्यू सिलेबस चैप्टर नंबर थ्री ए डिमांड एनालिसिस माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी ऑलरेडी स्टडीड वॉर एग्जैक्टली डिमांड मीन्स वॉर एग्जैक्टली द टाइप्स एंड डिटर्मिनेंस ऑफ डिमांड आर similarly we also studied the law of demand today we are going to discuss about changes in demand yes my dear students in ordinary language demand means a desire desire means an urge to have something in economics demand means a desire which is backed by willingness and ability to pay these two terms are very very important to understand the concept of demand Yes my dear students you have already studied the concept of utility in the previous chapter utility is the basis of demand and similarly there are many other factors which affect demand for example any desire cannot be termed as demand demand is only the desire which is backed by willingness and ability to pay if a person has the desire to purchase a television set but does not have the adequate purchasing power then it will be simply a desire and not a demand thus demand is an effective desire all desires are not demand in short demand is equal to desire plus willingness to purchase plus ability to pay so in this way we can conclude that there can be variations as well as changes in demand when demand for a commodity increases or decreases due to changes in other factors and price remains constant it is known as changes in demand my dear students in the previous video we studied about variations in demand where we understood that variation is nothing but when demand for a commodity falls or rises due to change in price alone and other factors remain constant but here it is exactly opposite to it when the demand for a commodity increases or decreases due to changes in other factors and here price remains constant whereas in variations of demand we saw price was changing and other factors were constant so this is the major difference which we need to understand that in changes in demand when there is a big change in demand price remains constant and other factors are going to change let us have a look at both the types of changes in demand increase in demand and decrease in demand my dear students increase in quantity demanded due to favorable changes in factors other than price my dear students underline this word mark this word favorable changes in factors other than price you have already studied the answer determinants of demand yes my dear students determinants of demand which clearly stated that there were many 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 factors which affect demand such as price income prices of substitute goods prices of complementary goods nature of product size of population expectations about future prices advertisements taste habits fashions level of taxation etc there were also some other factors such as climatic conditions changes in technology government policy customs and traditions etc so it is very clear that price alone doesn't affect demand there are many other factors which affect demand so when there is favorable change in factors other than price it is called as increase in demand which comes under changes in demand exactly opposite to it is decrease in demand decrease in quantity demanded due to unfavorable changes in factors other than price mark this word my dear students unfavorable changes let us have a look at both these concepts in detail with the help of diagram increase in demand it refers to increase in quantity demanded due to favorable changes in other factors like taste income of the consumer climatic conditions etc and price remains constant yes my dear students there are many factors which affect demand taste incomes 
or we can say population, climatic conditions, there are many factors which affect demand. When there is a favorable change due to which the quantity demanded rises or increases, such favorable change which leads to increase in demand is termed as increase in demand in changes in demand. Here, demand curve shifts to the right hand side of the original demand curve. You can see in figure 3.9, my dear students, x axis demands or uh, denotes quantity demanded in kgs. Similarly, y axis shows price in rupees. Here you can see price that is the line P is constant, there is no change in it. But still, quantity increases from Q to Q1. This is because of the favorable changes in taste, habit, income of the consumer, climatic conditions, etc. Price remains constant. DD is the original demand curve. Demand curve shifts outward to the right from DD to D1, D1 which indicates increase in demand. In the same way, the next point is decrease in demand. It refers to decrease in quantity demanded due to unfavorable changes in other factors. My dear students, once again, mark this word unfavorable changes like in the factors such as taste, income of the consumer, climatic conditions, etc. Once again, the price remains constant. Demand curve shifts to the left hand side. This time you can see in the figure 3.10, x axis once again denotes quantity demanded and y axis price in rupees. Once again, the price is constant. You can see that P line, it is constant. It doesn't change, neither it increases or it doesn't decrease as well. So you can see the quantity is decreasing from Q to Q2. This is because of unfavorable changes in factors like taste, income of the consumer, climatic conditions, etc. Yes, my dear students, DD is the original demand curve. It shifts inward to the left from DD to D2, D2, which indicates decrease in demand. So in this way, my dear students, we can clearly understand there are two concepts that is variation in demand and change in demand. Variation has expansion and contraction in it. Similarly, changes in demand has two types, increase and decrease in demand. In the next video, we will come up with some more interesting answers from this chapter. Till then, stay safe, stay connected. Thank you very much.